Hello VeetConf 2023. I'm super excited to join you for this conference and I want to talk with you about React Router and Veet. Is that a framework? So my name is Kent C. Dodds and I am currently working on epicweb.dev where I'm going to teach everything you need to know about building full stack web applications. So I'm really excited about that and I hope that by the time you watch this video we'll have a, a, a launch date announced and it should be very uh, very soon so yeah stay tuned it's going to be awesome very very epic uh, so check out epicweb.dev so let's talk about uh, frameworks and what that even means so i tweeted about this um, because you know let's just see what the uh, twitter world has to say about that and i uh, got a number of replies so my my tweet was what's table stakes features for a framework in your mind is react a framework is remix is next what would you say are properties of a framework? So I got a, a number of replies. So uh, a lot of people will say, if you use it, it's a library. If it uses you, it's a framework. Uh, so that's what I got here. If uh, you use their code, it's a library. If they use your code, it's a framework. Um, I hear this actually pretty often when this debate comes up. And uh, this debate has come up with React a lot, uh, where they'll say, OK, so is React a framework or is it a library? And they always, uh, somebody will always say something like this. I I kind of get where it's coming from, um, but I struggle to um, uh, to take it away from the philosophical uh, feeling there. Like it, it just doesn't seem tangible enough to me. And so, um, yeah, not not sure that one's uh, totally uh, the way that I'm going to go. Uh, if it has a conference, so there you go, Vite, you're a framework apparently. <laughs> um, I just thought this one was kind of funny. It's a, a, a fun idea, I suppose. Um, and then here's another one from Artem, uh, creator of MSW. A framework tells you how to do things. In that regard, React is a framework, uh, like hooks and suspense. So is Remix, loaders, actions, and routing. And next, hooks and routing. Uh, and so Artem says, I would call Remix and next meta frameworks since they're built on top of React, which I also find to be a framework. Uh, this gets a little bit closer to what I'm thinking about when I uh, talk about a framework, um, but still have some more uh, things to talk about with that. So um, also we could think about a list of features. Is a framework just a bunch of features? So uh, Tejas, uh, you've got routing, ser uh, server and static rendering, data fetching, static assets. Um, I would add to this a really important feature would be data mutations. Um, so yeah, it could be a list of features that um, that could be a part of it. But I think um, where it really comes down to is actually uh, David's response to Aaron's response. So let's read Aaron's first. In my mind, a web framework needs all of these things. So here we had a list of features, and now we have all of the features. So auth, middleware, routing, caching, database and ORM, mail, testing, CLI, background jobs, and scheduled jobs. Off the top of my head. Um, and that's actually exactly the reason why I asked whether Remix or Next are frameworks, because I know a lot of people just naturally assume that those are frameworks. But um, for a lot of people outside of the JavaScript ecosystem, a framework requires a lot more than what Next and Remix uh, support or ever plan to support. Um, and uh, the, I, I feel like the JavaScript ecosystem is okay with having like little things that they kind of glue together. And I think there's a reason for that we, we can talk about um, a little bit later. But uh, yeah, so Aaron uh, suggests that all of these things are what require uh, is required to be a framework. Uh, but David gave a really thoughtful response that I think explains why we have so many differing opinions. And that is, I think the classification of framework is relative to the scope of the problem space. React is a framework for putting together UIs. Express is a framework for handling web requests. People have broader and narrower uh, problem spaces in their mind when they argue about this. And I 100% agree. I think that is uh, very well said, David. Thank you. Um, so here's another one that I just thought was kind of uh, funny. This is my favorite. Uh, Vite plus a router is a framework. Oh my goodness, did they know that I was going to be giving this talk? Because that is that fits in perfectly <laughs> with what I want to talk about. Um, but uh, I think my favorite of all of these, for real, is from Joel Hooks. So a framework is strong opinions and guidance in terms of structure and tooling. And what I'm working on with the Epic stack is to build exactly that. I want to uh, build for TypeScript, uh, for the JavaScript ecosystem, a, um, a framework that has strong opinions and guidance. Um, and yeah, I'll just say it again. Strong opinions and guidance in terms of structure and tooling. 
And so that, to me, in my mind, that is a full-fledged framework. But I really like what David said. And in, in the lens of what uh, David said about uh, frameworks being scoped to the problem space, I think that uh, to answer the ultimate question, is Vite and React Router a framework? Um, I think it can be. And so I wanted to show you a, a little demo of um, the React Router tutorial for uh, just getting started with React Router, which uses Vite. And so here in my editor, I've got the source directory. We have um, our index.html. This is where it all begins, of course. And it's just a, a pretty basic spa, not much uh, going on in here. And we bring in the source main TSX file. So with that, then I can come to my main TSX file. Oh, and I guess I should show you a demo. So here, um, we can create a new contact. And uh, let's do Kent C. Dodds and at Kent C. Dodds. And did you know that you can put your GitHub uh, URL and add a .png, and that will be that will redirect your avatar. So fun fact, uh, Kent is me. And then save, and boom, there that is. We can edit, we can cancel, we can star, uh, we can search, and all of that stuff works as you might expect. So um, how is this constructed? Well, um, one of the things that uh, React Router gives you, of course, is a router and a, a way to define your routes. Now, I appreciate that uh, Remix and Next have these file-based routing systems that are uh, quite nice for that uh, opinion on structure. And we kind of lose that when we're talking about React Router, where it's all configuration-type-based routing. But that said, I feel like we kind of lose some stuff when it comes to that file-based routing. Um, it, it, there are only so many characters that you can abuse, use and abuse um, in a file name to be able to, to define uh, different params and stuff like that. So um, that has been a challenge for me myself. And so I actually really appreciate that Remix allows for a combination of configuration-based routing and file-based routing. Um, and I think in the future, it's possible that um, going back to configuration-based routing like this would be uh, even preferable. Um, the, the drawback there, of course, is now you don't have all the opinions on where things uh, are located. And that's the case here with Vite plus React because um, there is no like Webpack plugin or, or, or uh, ESBuild plugin that says, okay, load all of these uh, routes. There may be something, but uh, not, not to my knowledge. Um, and in this case, that's not the case. So, uh, but a couple of things I want to uh, call out here is we have loaders for loading data and actions for handling mutating data. We have error handling, um, and and then of course routing. I think all of these things are kind of the uh, like what Tejas was saying, the baseline for stuff that you absolutely need in a router or in a uh, in a framework. And then of course you you've got everything um, else you know within the uh, the fact that we're using. Um, a TypeScript um, project that uh, can be run on the server as well. So if you wanted to upgrade uh, to a more full-fledged uh, framework, then uh, yeah, you totally could. So as I wrap up here, I just want to answer the question, why, why are we not using the all the things framework? Why don't we all just use Laravel that includes all of the stuff? And I think that um, there are some things that I just want to be able to do that involve writing TypeScript on the front end and the back end and using the exact same code on both sides. Um, I don't want to write um, a, some code that uh, is like in PHP that evaluates stuff, like converts into some JavaScript that runs on the client. I feel like my hands are tied in that world. And so I'm okay putting a lot of effort into making something like the Epic stack uh, to make a more full-fledged all the things framework. So stay tuned for that. Um, and as I mentioned, uh, you may want to upgrade to Remix for the, the better user experience. And that's one of the really cool things about using React Router and Vite is that once you get to that point where you decide, oh, I want to have the better uh, developer and user experience by ha having progressive enhancement and, and uh, server rendering, all, all of that, uh, the migration there, uh, there's a great migration guide from React Router to Remix that you can check out on the Remix docs. So I recommend looking into that if you haven't already. The last thing I want to say is just build cool things and be happy doing it um, and let other people be happy uh, building the cool things they're building. That's all I have for you. Thank you so much. Uh, please do check out Epic Web Dev and we'll see you around the internet. Bye.